Hey everybody, today is September the 16th of 2020 and I'm coming to you with 100% truth of the satanic agenda behind the music industry. Um, all of the big name recording companies, uh, they're all satanic and they perform witchcraft on the music before it's sent out. That would even include Christian music. So here we go. Check this out, baby. I was the manager of Zodiac Productions, which Zodiac Productions name has been changed since then. I'm not even sure what they call it now, but it's the largest music conglomerate in the world. It owns RCA Records, Columbia Records, Motown Records. It owns almost all the concert booking agencies in the United States. And that's not even the, the name of the company that owns it. The name of the company that owns it is Brenner Enterprises. And Brenner Enterprises is owned by Chase Manhattan. Chief Manhattan's owned by Standard Oil, and Standard Oil's owned by the Lords of London. You can track it all back. You kind of get the idea after a while. But I was the managing president of Zodiac Productions. It's one of my jobs as being one of these 13 people. Thus, I got to know many of the people who produce music and sing the music and play the music that you play. Now, one of the closest friends that I got during that time that I obtained was a man named David Crosby. I said, David, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. I said, I already know the answers, but I've been gone for five years. I like to know if certain things are still the way they were when I left. I said, do they still take the master to the temple room? Dave said, yeah. I said, do they still have the coven conjure demons into the master? He said, of course. I said, no, i got to know something. What's the main reason for rock music? He said, the same as when you were in, so that we can play spells on people that we couldn't cast spells upon. The master is a tape about as big as the top of this podium that looks like an overgrown 8-track that the album is cut on and is placed in a machine that produces and presses the records and the 8-tracks and cassettes that you buy. After it's been recorded, it's taken in. This is why a master's cut months in advance before it's released. On the full moon, it's taken in to a temple room about the size of this auditorium that is in every one of the major music companies behind locked doors up in the executive office and it's placed on an altar sitting in the north of the room and a pentagram engraved in the floor. And 13 hand-chosen witches and witch withers and a coven come in and conjure a principality or a power up, usually Regia or something like that, and order him to tell the demons under him to follow every record and every tape coming off of that master. I said, okay, one last thing. I've been hearing that you must be an initiated witch now to get a record contract. He said, that's right. He said, many of us that weren't total witches have to be witches now in order to produce music. Courtney, do you know of ever involved in the occult or witchcraft or anything like that? Absolutely, man. No kidding. She got really fascinated with it, especially when she was with MTV. And the head, the head the people at MTV were totally into satanic culture. The kind of stuff where they were having meetings and wearing red masks and, and sacrificing people and stuff. Get the hell and out of here at MTV. The heads of MTV, the people at the top levels of MTV, were definitely satanic cults. When MTV first started, that this was there was a cult of uh, of uh, black magic or dark magic, but just call it dark magic. Uh, people at MTV, musicians that were going through MTV were. Uh, couldn't get on MTV unless they had, they were vetted by these people. Really? And they had definite, yeah, they had definite uh, proclivities to not let anybody in there unless they were able to manipulate them through these various cult practices. Welcome to the Satanic Cult Awards, ladies and gentlemen. to pray to the devil with me who's in with me come on hey let me see those horns let me see those horns now take the hand of the person next to you come on lady dear dark lord satan everybody's laughing along like if they think it's a joke uh, but it's myself. totally serious the people don't even and, uh, know ask you to grant tonight's nominees continued success in the music industry uh this is I, i'd like to uh First of all, I'd like to thank Satan. We'd like to thank you for this MTV award. It will take pride of place on my mantle next to my uh, upside-down rubber cross and uh, my signed copy of The Wicker Man. <laughs> it. 
tonight at the beach. Okay, so basically what I've just shared with you is truth. So you have all of your higher up, all of your big name uh, recording artists and the recording industry companies, uh, like all the big name brands, you, you heard it. Um, Sony is going to be in there as well. Um, so even if you're listening to Christian music, and you see that these Christian artists who you think are Christians are getting record contracts with these big, huge um, music companies, you heard it. They must become witches and warlocks to get a contract. So you can either believe it or not. That's totally up to you. I'm going to put the link to this video in the description box. And I'm also going to put another link to another recording ar artist, somebody who's already burning in hell. His name is Extacion. And, um, Extentacion, actually. So he was murdered and he is burning in hell. He sold his soul to the devil. Do not get it twisted. He talks about, uh, in the video about he, uh, wanted to just only help people, only help people. But no, um, he was very much deceived. He is burning in hell. People have had uh, dreams of him burning in hell. The reason why I'm going to share his uh, video is because he. this is an interview that he did where he talks about the frequency, the hertz, megahertz, and all of that, the frequency, about how it can actually is can go to different parts of your brain and you can be persuaded to do certain things. They control your brain with that. Um, so just go give that a listen. So God bless you. I told you music industry is evil and wicked. Hollywood is evil and wicked. Um, just stay away from all of it. It's all satanic. And I told you just in my last video that they're all witches. So this is just proof. God bless you. Don't think for one minute that you're just beeping along to the beat and that you're not hearing the lyrics. I'm telling you, spells are cast over all of this music and you are being bewitched. Come away from all of it in the name of Jesus. Goodbye.